Hey, all you hobby enthusiasts. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick like video about uh, investing in uh, sealed products, whether it's uh, Pokemon uh, or sports. Uh, people, they, you know, these days you can get soccer, UFC, uh, basketball, football, baseball, hockey. Um, and uh, a lot of people talk about like, you know, investing in sealed Pokemon booster boxes, uh, you know, sealed products, Japanese, English, whatever like that, but they never talk. I, 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 I all the, the, uh, the, sports guys they really barely ever talk about like investing in sealed products of uh sports they, they do talk about the price sometimes but i don't see too too many videos like that so i mean there, there's big differences between the two if you ever like kind of go in that way you know you start getting into some of the hobby stuff um some of the big differences is you know like like with the with like like pokemon the uh booster boxes here it's literally a, like a like a timing thing where you know a set will come out and a year 15 months 18 months uh they'll do a reprint and once that reprint comes that's probably the best time to uh if you don't want to just be sitting on a bunch of stock the the initial release is always going to be the best 85 dollar booster box 90 whatever but that uh the reprint hopefully that's it's only one which basically the majority of sets have one team up didn't have a reprint uh uh, I think like some of the beginning sets, Sword and Shield and Rebel Rebel Clash might not have. Sword and Shield might have had a small one. Uh, Rebel Clash, I don't. It might not have had a reprint. I don't know if it was uh, popular enough set. But like, you know, with Fusion Strike, the first run of this, I believe, is the first run that got like you know that big old story of someone stealing all the hits. But the second run, which I believe is the second, uh, the uh, second printing box. I have seven of the. I believe they're all second printing boxes. I'm not 100 percent sure. But some the ones I got from the Pokemon Center recently, back in January, I'm 100% sure those are probably second printing because they, you know, sold out and restocked. But, um, you know, the difference is, you know, I, when it comes to, like, Pokemon, it's it's like the big chase. You got the big Gengar in here, the Lost Origin, you got the, the Giratina. This is still available on the Pokemon Center website. And for retail, for me, it's 143 plus tax, comes out to 158. But... For some reason, on like TCG Player and on uh, eBay, people are paying more for this. Hundred seventy, it's saying one hundred seventy-six bucks or something like that. When you can still get it for under one sixty after tax on the Pokemon Center, I heard many different reasons why. To me, I saving money is making money. You know what I mean? So whatever you don't pay up front is money in your pocket. So I always go, I always do my research. I look for the, uh, you know, the the best deals on stuff. Um, so like I said, it's a long game, like, like these here, I was getting these booster boxes for, uh, uh, 145, 155, got all the way up to like 165, 69 before I, and that I, I had, um, I had picked up 10 of these, uh, these Japanese ones. They got a reprint coming. They, they, it's kind of tanked the price, but like I said, it's a long game. Like, you know, my plan was to have like 50 of these boxes, just set them off to the side, but I started moving, you know, my investments into other other such items that are, are moving upwards instead of sideways or down right now. And um, like 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 with this here, it, again, after this reprint and after all of the excess gets uh, absorbed back, you know, into people's collections or boxes get opened or stuff like that, then the price of these will just go back up. These boxes are at that point right now where this stock is almost gone this stock out of stock so that's why this one's gone up uh, i believe this has gone up somewhere in the neighborhood of about 20 percent from its uh, from january being 143 dollar box to now almost almost 243 is like 231 232 or something like that so it's it's very different you know um then when we get over here to the the sports stuff i kind of like these little Monop monopoly blasters you go on target's uh, website and these are in the board game section. So whenever there's a board game promotion, like buy two, get one free or something like that, you get them. So literally $30 blasters. I got three of them for 60 instead of two the other day when they had that promotion, just walked in the store. They had five boxes. So I grabbed three and I left the other two because um, the other two were going to be regular price. But what's in here, instead of a Gengar or that Giratina, you got a uh, Victor Wembanyama right in, in here. Uh, we'll call him Victor, Wemby, whatever it is. And so, like, over time, those big chase guys, if if it 
it remains that he's like the unicorn, the next LeBron, the next Curry, the next Jordan, or something like that. Five years from now, this $30 blaster box is going to be like $200 ones. Lucas is at a five year, uh, uh, it, it's been out for five years now. So the 2018 2019 Prism, which was Lucas rookie year, he wasn't the number one overall pick. If I'm not, if I'm not remembering, he was sixth or seventh or something like that. Traded with Atlanta with Trey Young. Um, but Lucas, a, like, like a generational guy, and you know, his box back. Five years ago, I think the box was 25 bucks, 22 bucks or something like that. These little boxes with the possibility of Luca, those ones cost, they're, they're $200 boxes. It's a, you know, uh, was that, uh, so we're, we're talking uh, $180 higher than retail. Uh, what is that, 2,000% uh, gain or something crazy like that or something? I'm not sure. Uh, so this is uh, kind of similar, but you know, in years from now, if the one of one, because this does have the opportunity to pull a Luca one of one, uh, every card in this set has a one of one. And if the 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 Wemby one of one gets pulled later on down, this is not going to be worth as much as if it never got gets pulled or if it never surfaces. Someone could pull it and never say anything because they might be invested in these boxes. As long as that Wemby still floating around, the possibility of hitting that Wemby in a box, you know. So, this is last year's regular prism at the Monopoly, and in here the chase was Paolo and uh, Chet Holmgren. Um, this one, this is not like the Monopoly. There is no chance of one of ones in here. I think the hot, lowest numbered is to 25 in this year. Yeah, lowest is to 25. The green pulsar is numbered to 25. So if you get a green pulsar of uh, Chet Holmgren, uh, uh, who else? Oh, Jalen Williams from Oklahoma City Thunder as well. Um, There's a handful of very good guys in here, you know, five, 10 years from now, those guys, their cards could be worth not much, or it could be even more like, you know, look at Steph Curry. So he came out 2009, 2010, I think it was, if I remember correctly. Um, it was a tops box and those boxes go for $30,000 because no one's pulled the one of one true gold uh, card or no one's surfaced. What happens to those $30,000 box sealed boxes if that curry surfaces, those $30,000 boxes are now down to $10,000, you know, uh, $8,000, who knows, uh, whoever else that people were chasing that year aren't Steph Curry. So it's kind of like, this is what like the sports card investing is, the players. Uh, uh, last year, uh, I grabbed a bunch of PSA 10 graded uh, Chet Holmgren's, uh, a few other guys. And then during the summer league, they started balling out. Chet was looking like he might even be rivaling Wemby for Rookie of the Year, all this stuff. I sold the stuff at like 30% higher than I paid for them during summer league. You know, it's there's seasons for the players. Sometimes a player hit eight, go in and score 80 points or something like that. And all of a sudden overnight, his cards go up 10% or something like that because everyone's searching them up looking. Uh, there's no seasons for Charizard. There's no seasons for Gengar. It's, it's, it's a little bit different like a, you know that uh, just recently the Umbreon V from uh, Evolving Skies. It was it was it's been sitting at about an eighty dollar card for a while. I bought my son one for seventy six bucks in this January. You know, um, four months ago, that card is now up to like a hundred and sixty four dollars, and it, it's been jumping. Uh, I think it's riding the coattails of the Moonbreon. Everyone's saying like a. Uh, some of the other po pokey tubers like pokey rev and all that stuff people have been saying they like that card for years i don't think it was just one person saying something you know uh, pokey beard he said the same thing a lot of people say that that they like the umbreon v better than the uh, the moonbreon you know so um but like i said there's no seasons for it it's uh it's you just a, a pokemon card could just pop off at any time the the sports cards that goes with how good the player is uh off season is better time to buy cards um, so like, say the Wemby card in here, uh, some of the, like the purple one, is an $80 card or something like that. Um, uh, there's uh, numbered ones in here. When, when the season is off, after he wins the Rookie of the Year and there's a little less hype, uh, that's when you buy the cards. That's when you jump on the cards. Right now you're going to pay, pay a premium. Um, even for the products that Wemby is in, you're going to end up paying a premium. You can't even get normal Prism. Uh, at the store like barely you walk in and it's all gone um, I have the updates uh, for when Target restocks them the mega boxes which is the the $60 box and then the blasters which are 30 every time they restock 
they're gone before I can even cart them, you know what I mean? So it's like everyone's chasing Wemby. He's like the Charizard of uh, basketball right now, the sports world in general. When uh, people do those top 10 retail hits or top 10 hits, the majority of the, the, the majority every week, the number one hit is a Wemby. It's the biggest, he's the biggest chase right now. He's, he's like a unicorn. The guy just, he's amazing. He's exceeded expectations. He just got the rookie of the year on lock. I think he should be the defensive player of the year. I mean, they give it to Rudy Gobert. I'm not gonna be mad at that, but just looking at what he does, his blocks are higher, his steals are higher. He disrupts. He's a very disruptive uh, player. You have to change your offense because of him. You know what I mean? So it's like like he's not, it, it's, people are gonna figure out how to game plan, but as he grows and gets better at things, you can't game plan for greatness. The only thing you can game plan for his mistakes. You know what I mean? So Wemby's uh, one of those guys that, um, if he has a long career like Steph Curry, uh, and you hold on to these boxes that have a possibility of hitting some of his colored cards, even his base cards, you know, whatever. Um, you know, it's, it's a, a, an investment type of thing that you can do. But like the other day I got my paycheck. Uh, I went in the bank to cash it in. Well, I was standing in the line. There was, it was a little longer than normal. I barely, usually I just go in and I'm looking around like to see what kind of promotions and things I got. And I see six month and one year CDs. And in big writing, like they're proud that they're giving you this percentage, 4.95 on the uh, 12 month and 4.75 on the six month. So if I put $100 in one of those CDs and let them have my money for a whole year, let's not forget about the six month one, the whole year and that other one, I'll get $4.95 back. There's been days where this booster box jumped up $10. Eleven dollars, twelve in a day, not in a whole year. Didn't take a whole year in a day. So, like, like I was buying these for one forty. The most I ever spent on one of these was after tax and shipping, one hundred and seventy eight, I think, one seventy eight, one seventy seven, something like that. And after that, the prices just went too crazy. They were up and over the two hundred. So I stopped at seven boxes of these, like one seventy, you know, or plus. Another, these have gone up sixty dollars. How many, how many hundreds of dollars would I put in that 12 month CD just to get the 60? You know, I know there's other investments people like to do the stock market. People like um, doing the, uh, was that Bitcoins, all that stuff. I don't understand Bitcoin. I don't know what that is. If I don't understand it, I don't put my money there. I know hobby stuff. I've been buying this stuff since I was a kid. Pokemon stuff is newer to me. My son, I've been buying him and my daughter's stuff since like 2004, 2005. So I know a little bit about this stuff. I know enough about the investment side though, for sure. You know, it's a time thing. This stuff here, it's a player chase thing. And once all the numbered cards, like, so like I said, this this last year's Prism, the lowest numbered card is uh, to 25, the green Pulsars. This year's Prism with Wemby, the lowest number in retail is to 225. This is a teal wave 225. So they always, like, like every year, back when it was Luca's year, you could still get autographs and mem cards in retail. Now you can't. They don't have it for Prism. But um, uh, so let's go back to uh, Luca's rookie year. His one of one black has not been found yet. It hasn't been pulled. Those boxes go for, I think I have a pulled up here, $4,000 for a hobby box. Hobby box are the ones that are sold at hobby stores and have more options to get uh, better memorabilia cards, better lower numbered cards. I don't think that year you could have got the Luca 101s from a retail blaster or retail mega box, but I think so. I think it was hobby. So those hobby boxes are going for four grand, you know, because there's a possibility that you might hit this Luca one of one black, which I don't know what that is. How I, I think there was estimates of five hundred thousand, estimates of a million dollars. I don't know. The estimate on that Steph Curry gold card that hasn't surfaced yet is some ten million minimum, maybe. Some, something like that. There's a LeBron rookie. Uh, I think it was the vertical patch. The, no, the vertical one was found, but the horizontal one wasn't yet. And that one's supposed to be like the largest missing card, the most expensive missing card, $20 million card. You know, so the sealed boxes of that stuff, I don't even know, I haven't, re I didn't research that. It's like, but if the Curry one is at like 30,000 for a sealed box, that LeBron one, which is six years older, got to be $50,000 a box or something crazy like that. So I, I'm not even sure. But like I said, there's the, those are the big differences. Like here, it's a time thing. 
uh, there's no seasons you just uh, you know as soon as it runs out of stock and there's no more printing then you know that you know it's it's good to uh, pick up some boxes so this one here like I said I, I spent as high as $169 a box for these 170 or I think 172 maybe and so the reprint has lowered these lowered it enough so that I actually was able to open a box me and my son opened a box uh, you know chasing the master balls that are in here and uh I'm gonna pick up some more of these at the lower price and just sit on them, you know, because I, I, I do believe in this with the Master Ball Chase 151 being that set that brought a lot of people back. Um, I know Japanese prices aren't what they were during uh, uh, the pandemic and, uh, and, and, and uh, the post pandemic uh, rush and stuff like that, but you know, it's, it's just one of those things where you play a timing thing with just about anything and you're gonna, you know, and then you wait. There's also the, the waiting, the patience for your uh, uh, investments to mature. So, you know, like I said, I, I, I bought a house back in 2009 when the market crashed. Biggest investment I ever had. I had to cash out my 401k just to get the down payment and do all that kind of stuff. And so I buy the house for 345. It continues to drop. I don't panic. You know, the house went down from 345 to like 279 estimated, you know. I don't panic because I'm in a house. I'm in, I'm living in it. I'm not paying somebody else uh you know i'm playing the bank interest but you know and now i only owe 230 on the house and it's worth 1.2 million dollars so this is small little investments for me i enjoy doing this i'm going to be you know enjoying when i'm able to cash it out and you know redo my kitchen or something like that or cash it out and pay off a chunk of my uh, mortgage those are you know those are the the, the bigger things that you know uh, that you invest in you just gotta make sure you 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 um being responsible don't spend all your money on the investments here when you know there's more important stuff you know i'm not a financial advisor i'm always gonna have to say that in these videos that i make um and uh you know so just do your due diligence make sure you're doing the right thing like i said buying your family a home is one of the biggest most proudest moments buying a box and it going up fifty dollars is not it's not but it's cool but it's, it's, it's not. And then, okay, so like I said, I'm going to try to end this video real quick. But well, another thing with the sports cards, there's some of the Monopoly, you know, uh, me and my son, we ripped a few open. And so everyone's chasing Wemby. But what if in like five years or something, the we'll say like Cam Whitmore, underrated guy, Cam Whitmore rookie right here. But what if he's like the next Jordan or something crazy like that? And, you know, Wemby just kind of goes off of the Yao Ming route after five years of playing high level, you know, Hurts, whatever it is. you got the, the Thompson twins, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, Case and Wallace, you know, or that's actually Jairus Wallace. Case and Wallace on Oklahoma, my bad. So, you know, you got all these guys, Anthony Black, uh, Keontae George, you know, I hit all these rookies out of these boxes. I only opened four boxes and hit even hit some, uh, I hit three numbered cards. Um, but uh, like I said, you never know. Steph Curry's card could be in the garbage somewhere, that gold, one of one gold card, because he wasn't Steph Curry at the time. He was just a kid from Davidson, happened to be named Steph Curry. Someone could have pulled that, stuck it in a binder, threw the binder in the back of a closet, moved, uh, got tossed it, whatever. Who knows? That card may never surface. One of ones may never surface, you know? Uh, so, I mean, what if a, you know, a, trailer caught on fire on a shipment and it burned in, in in the shipment you know you know you never know what happened to that card but the not knowing causes sealed products that have the possibility of hitting that to go up is he the next Steph curry uh, sir thompson i'm in thompson his brother you never know right now they're not right now it's wimby everyone's chasing wimby but you never know it, it, it could change just like a joker here we go what do we got like joker right now if you went back eight years uh you know back when curry and lebron were fighting for the titles his cards weren't nothing this guy was drafted in the second round just like uh trace jackson davis for the warriors who's balling out now uh but his cards now are worth a lot of money his one of ones his of fives his uh, short print variants all this stuff they're worth a lot of money you know his rookie cards um and so it's like like the sealed boxes of his stuff definitely with the the chance of hitting joker you know, he's he's won MVPs. He probably should get his fourth in a row. But, you know, I, I'm not mad that Joel Embiid won, you know. But uh, I think Joker's the best player right now. He's so, like, smooth and just so, like, he, he makes it look effortless. 
but not flashy. It's kind of weird. He's like the new Tim Duncan kind of thing, you know? So, um, but yeah, that's the, let's, let's end this video on that. Like I said, there's the big differences in Pokemon investing, sports card investing, uh, and only invest in things that you believe in, things that you know about, things that, you know, are close to your heart, you know, just don't, like I said, I'll probably never invest in cryptocurrency. Um, because I don't know what it is. I don't care about it right now. I really, you know, I'm not wasting my money on that. And I don't want someone to, to take me. I don't want to be had, you know, with someone selling me a dream. And then all of a sudden I go to cash it out. It's like, it ain't real, you know. So um, with that, man, happy investing. Uh, enjoy your day.